someone contacted me and said, I, I found a Quasar TV. I really think you'll like it. It's one of those consoles he likes to work on. Oh, there was some good English. And uh, I was thinking, well, maybe it uh, works in a drawer or something with tubes or solid state, but it's another one of these. And we featured one of these on this channel not too long ago that had more uh, cigarette glaze on it than probably actually cabinet itself. And I don't know if this one's any different. This is an absolutely horrific a piece of furniture. I mean, just ugly to the max, mid-80s, campy cheese. Just, we'll, we'll come up here and we'll just, and, and keep in mind this is all plastic. There's no wood in this thing. This is all just a big molded, simulated wood grain plastic and I think this is the older Quasar logo, isn't it? But again, this is no no difference in the uh, cigarette department, I don't think. Although I don't smell it, but I haven't turned it on yet. What the hell is the knob that says personal touch do? Soft and vivid. If it was personal, it should have said soft and hard. Ooh, my TV is cable ready. These had crappy CRTs in them. They, I think they were made by Matsushita. Let's see if we got a date on here. It's not gonna end well for this TV. I'll say that right now. see a date vertical hold mid 80s early 80s a lot of the screws are missing let's get a quarter inch and open this thing up okay I found a date code 82 right in front of my face I don't know why I didn't see that but Let's see what we got here. This is a little bit different than the last one. It's a little bit older than the last one. Interesting looking tuner. power supply. The other one, the power supply was up on the tuner. And boy, look at the big regulator transistor on this. It's a TO3 package. Try an experiment. Try it with the uh, light on. Still a bit of a colored temperature difference between the built-in light in the sun yeah this looks very high hour although it doesn't really look like cigarette it doesn't smell like cigarettes just like dust got here the anti-theft lock nut on the convergence assembly 
I wonder if I can test the CRT. I'm just kind of showing the inside right now. Lots of those uh, purple capacitors that like to leak. Let's see if we can test the CRT. Okay, you actually have uh, option of three CRTs here. I just went with the top one. Look at this. Filthastic. Uh, the, the high voltage attracts the dirt. So I would prefer to use a different CRT tester on this one, but since I grabbed it and I have the adapter, uh, I'm not going to be too picky. So we're going to play this game of one one setting's too high and the other's too low, huh? Exactly. So four volts on maximum hardly meets six. Six volts on minimum is like seven. But see what we got here. I mean, I expected it to be dead, but come on. Hello, anybody home? Okay, let's go here and then go to six, which is giving us uh, about seven volts. nicotine glaze I don't think this is even lighting up Let me see when I put that on there maybe we're rolling unloaded here that's why yeah when I put it on the heater voltage doesn't doesn't change so something's up with this socket adapter or the CRT is just open the filament in the CRT okay here we go I think I got it I had to bend that one pin out so when I put it on now now we're now we're getting conduction let's see let's go up to uh, six volts That's a little bit more along the lines of what I would expect. That's blue. That's green. That's red. You know, these new CRTs like this, they should just peg the meter. And when I say new, I, I mean, you know, 1980 on up. They really had good emissions by this time. So yeah, this is this is toast. And that's with everything cranked all the way up. If I go to cut off, I actually do have some there. Barely. It just it just meets the line with the thing all the way up. So blue, green, red. I 
So it'll produce a picture. It's it's not going to be any good. Football team is not going to be clear. See, it should be way up here with all of these halfway. Not all of these at maximum. Actually, I think I made another mistake here. VGSP, VGSP22, 6.3D21. I always forget to set the uh, bias on this CRT tester. So I, I'm on B right now. So let's go back to cut off or gun balance and I'm going to go to D so you can really see that that just kills it this is the actual negative voltage it's applying so yeah weak emissions uh, that's weak trust me on this thing and uh, no no cut off so it's gonna have a crappy picture. It's done, it's baked. Okay, let's see what happens here. Two watts idle. Let's see what I can do here. I didn't hear high voltage though. I just heard a boop. Oh yeah, it's there. Oh, lack of vertical deflection. Can anybody say open electrolytic? This might just wake up. I've seen these solid state sets where they just will wake up, they'll just, the capacitors reform or whatever and they just wake up it's actually a very dim blurry picture though just kind of wonder Couple photo cells. I always love how when I used to work on TVs, people always thought when the picture would shrink like this, it was a bad tube. Bad picture tube. They'd say, oh, it's shrinking, the picture tube's going bad. No, capacitor's drying out in the vertical deflection circuit. Okay, we got some rabbit ears in our converter box here. Yes, you can still use rabbit ears to pick up TV. Maybe if the TV works. Let's see, channel. I think the converter box is on channel three. Oh, yeah. A floating breakfast and your own private infinity, infinity, infinity pool. pool. Wait, you have your own infinity pool. Are and you dying? The best news is <laughs> and 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 included. Uh, we got no vertical Wait, sink. I know you want all these toga guys to go. Yeah. <laughs> the vertical is rolling. Who are you gonna take? Do you know yet? Take me with you. Um, I might take my pastor. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's my husband. <laughs> oh, Reese, we love you. We love you. It's, it's, a, it's incredible how stupid these people see sound when you can't see them. What is this? The view. Thank you, thank you. Look at my Instagram. Thank you. Okay, let me see if I can adjust this. Um, it's pretty bad when the, the commercials are more intelligent than the programming. Every year we try. Very dark. 
exercise more. Brightness is all the way up. Intensity, whatever that is. That's all the way up. How about this personal touch? Let me try and adjust the vertical uh, vertical hold. So vertical hold was accessible through the back and look at how worn out that hole is. Someone's been fingering that quite a bit. Let's see. I Is it this one? Here we go. Here we go. Ask your healthcare provider about Rebelsis today. Oh, this is a real. Just about what I would expect. Blurry and smeared and We're in a fairy tale. Worn out. And classical music with a drum kit. I'm introducing every guy to my parents right from the start. Lucky how. Etiquette. Jewelry. Being proper. I'm loving this. The Court premieres March 6th on NBC. I have had. Let's try a different channel. No doubt some political discussions. Try a different channel here. Five doesn't. Five. They'll hang. Later, we will share some of the libations they'll be sharing. In the meantime, a terrific show nominated for the second time for Best Ensemble Cast. Cast for The Great. It okay, so you can see how lacking the vertical deflection is here. Hey, like uh, us, the Kobe Coroner's office in LA. We give tours, we give lectures on death investigation. It's very dark, too. I mean, yeah, it's bright out here, but it's very dark. This camera is actually reproducing this very accurately. What you see is what I see. It's very dark. So what I'm going to do on the vertical so we can just get kind of a repair video out of this. I'm going to just let this run for an hour or two. And I'm going to get a Sharpie and we'll mark it. Right, here's what we're going to do just for we'll mark the top. Come on, come up with a damn... So we'll mark there, and we'll mark the bottom. Of course, if I could get something here, I could see... You know what? Look at, well... It already looks like it's expanded from when we turned it on, but I did adjust the... Um, I did adjust the vertical hold, which might have caused it to expand. But anyway, let's let's do this. Let's mark it up here and down here. And we'll mark it. I don't think this is widescreen. We've got adjustments here, and let's see what adjustments we got. So we do have we do have a vertical size. We do have a setup switch. So this is interesting. Earlier, I did not turn the vertical hold. Look at. You know how I said that hole looked like it had been fingered quite a bit? Look at how the vertical hold is all mashed back. I turned the vertical size, which would probably also stop it from rolling. But I meant to turn this one, so I did adjust the vertical size. I think I did make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, you can tell that's, that pot is hammered. Someone's been in there twisting and turning it a lot. President Biden will soon announce his pick to fill the spot of outgoing Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer. Um, it was real cold last night and this thing's been sitting for who knows how long so we want to let this just run before we start to adjust anything. Okay. 
Q451 and 452 are the vertical output. So there's 451 and 452. So is that that thing that's laying down right there? No, I see they're bolted to the heat sink right here. See these two cutouts with all the dirt in the big heat sink? That's where the vertical uh, output transistors are. That This one over here might be a driver or something. So I hope that's showing up on this camera. Um, I'm using the VG91 video generator. I am going to crank up uh, that vertical size. That's all it has is vertical size. I'm going to see if we can... Oh yeah. Yeah, we got plenty of deflection here. Oh yeah. No problem at all with the capacitors. I wonder what's going on with it. I wonder why the hole was all routed out. So, yeah, we got plenty of vertical deflection. What's up with that? Uh, let's kill this. And I'm going to see if I can adjust the focus to make those dots a little smaller. Uh, is this the focus? About as good as you're going to get it. Actually, all the way up looks about the best. Where the green at? Hugh, where's Hugh? There we go. Look at the smearing. Look at the smearing here. Smearing from the uh, It's not a very good Try and adjust the focus on this and see what we get. It's hard to tell because when you adjust the focus you can go through the sharp point and then you end up blurring another part like you'll make the horizontal line sharp and you'll make the vertical soft or the other way around. I mean, yeah, not too bad except the smearing here, but you know, that's, you get a weak CRT, you can't really, what happens if we turn the personal touch? Oh, the personal touch gets rid of the smearing. See that right there? See, that's soft and that's hard. 
Yeah, the personal touch makes the, makes it blow out. See intensity. See what intensity does. Yeah, intensity does the same thing. It's just it's weak CRT. Sharpness. This is like video peaking. Calling you. From the moment you pull up, it's calling. A great meal at Cielo is calling you. Oh, yes. The newest, friendliest, and safest casino resort and spa is calling. That's Cielo right. Calling. You'll be happy and all your life's problems will just vanish if you go gamble at an Indian casino. And new inventory arriving daily. Get 1750 bonus cash on select new 2022 retail orders. And we want your trade in. See your Southern California Ford dealer today. Old 98.7's Woody joins us along with Minnie Mouse and Donald Duck for a very special Disney California Adventure Park announcement. A pizza vending machine that's making up hot, fresh pizza 24 Taste smart. Monday, we do serious news, traffic, and weather all morning. But when we're done, we take it easy. Come hang out with us when we're off the clock. Streaming weekdays at 2 p.m. on KTLA Plus. Now on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. I love this song. I need this song. That song is so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's finally Friday. And if you're looking to escape L.A. for the weekend, we've got you covered. Plus a Fat Tuesday-inspired saloon right here in Hollywood. KTLA's Andy Reese Meyer and Samantha Cortese join us now with all the details. Hey! Welcome back, guys. Just in time for Mardi Gras, a local business is bringing back the Big Easy after a two-year pandemic pause. Pause. Palm Springs is time traveling, and you can get a little taste of it here in Los Angeles. That's in this weekend's finally. Do you know what it means to miss New Orleans? Fat Tuesday is on March 2nd this year, which means this weekend is the weekend to break out those beads. Hey, how you got them is up to you. And after being closed since the pandemic, Sassafras is back a frass. The authentic Southern charm, just like you remember it. I swear it just gets dumber every day. Like what? When he first came in, he said a few things that sounded familiar. Just now he mentioned Portland. It really is that dark. Portland was the name of the building in Patricia Neal wore that, that gown with the, with the fur. Yeah, yeah, remember Gary Cooper played the architect who blows up his own building? <laughs> Court TV. Maybe we'll find our new Supreme Court justice on Court TV. In the forensic evidence, but they don't know the story. They don't know why on earth this young woman is with this 60-year-old sex offender, how their lives or paths crossed, or why she was at that motel. If they don't know that story, can they still convict this man just based... Because they're routing out the vertical hold control port together. Yeah, I, I think we've. Ted Grand to marry the girl of my dreams. That sounds kind of fun. So what if you? I think one? we've done enough here. Gotta love that. That looks awesome. And look, it's in four by three. Doesn't that jewelry look good? Look at the smearing from the bad CRT over here. It's just digital trash, but that's what Home Shopping Network is anyway. Okay, I'm done with this. So, bad CRT, uh, just high hour set. 
someone really got their uh, enjoyment out of this and I don't think there's anything wrong with that they've they truly done wore it out I hope the reason why they didn't all right, let me try and start over again with that I hope the reason why they gave up on it wasn't the vertical problem although with the way that hole looks I kind of have a feeling in the way that pot is mashed back um, but anyway yeah if you look at this you can you could really see you could really just see how bad the, the weak the tube is not much to learn from this one probably show up in a future EOL video that's for sure I recently traded a gal who converts TVs to fish tanks the guts out of a Zenith roundy for uh, a Motorola massive black and white cabinet that had a bad CRT and I got the chassis the CRT out of the Zenith roundy and it's an original Zenith tube I thought this was interesting when I was pulling the guts out of this I didn't do this but I don't think I've ever seen where the convergence coils were clinko twerculated like that so anyway I like I said I grabbed the chassis because the vertical output transformer and the tubes are getting more expensive and hard to get so I thought it was a fair trade and I was looking at the discoloration and I know some people say that that's an irrelevant factor but I found it to be very true that as the CRT ages the filament causes this rear rear element here to turn turn dark and you can clearly see it there so this is the original probably 1965 CRT that was in that set so let's see if it's any good if it's not any good it's going straight into the landfill I want to see something halfway decent here and yeah I'll let it cook for a while but I have a feeling it's pretty tired chassis is definitely a worthwhile score because the parts are becoming unobtainable and if I want to keep my Xena sets on the road then I need parts so we'll let this go and I come back to this in a little bit here's the dead CRT out of the massive Motorola that I uh, gave her and I thought this was kinda interesting that it had a National Video Corporation CRT in it and I also thought the mounting hardware was pretty interesting on this uh, look at this setup that they had here this was mounted directly to metal brackets in the cabinet and this big black and white CRT was ba basically banded like a more modern set this banding is to help stop implosion because the tube is so big so yeah it almost looks like this this unscrews and then you take this bracket off and it comes from the factory with this band on it that's torqued so I thought that was pretty excessive and yeah this thing was dead I even took the took the base off in the video and so I'm gonna keep this and dispose of the rest of it 
Got to make room for new ones. Constantly got new stuff coming in. Well, interesting. I, I let it sit about five minutes and they went up to about 0.8. I came back uh, five minutes later, so 10 minutes, and they had dropped down. So it's like the CRT tester is burning what little is left away. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think this is destined for the uh, trash can like the black and white one. I don't need to keep it, keep any more uh, junkers around here. I'm running out of space and cleaning or rejuvenation it doesn't last I've tried it 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 might last a day or two now this is on the cleaning I don't think there's much to clean I don't think there's much left This is a Kilgore trout special here. I don't know what these, what, by the time these get blue like that, bluish brown, I don't know what that is, 2,500 hours, something like that. I mean, it's, it's baked. Yeah, there's nothing to clean. Best way to clean it's just to put it in the trash. So I just got this tip that this house is being demolished. And I guess the guy who lived here was a technology teacher. And I guess he had a bunch of electronics, pitcher tubes, TVs. And the person who bought the house didn't know what he had. And just started throwing everything away. Thank you.